in my hand. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But watch this now. But I will maintain my own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation. For an hypocrite shall not come before him. Hear diligently my speech and my declaration with your ears. Behold, I have ordered my cause. I know that I shall be justified. Before you sit down, can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor? Neighbor. Turn the page. Turn the page. Take your seats, please. Turn. Turn the page. The very prolific, the man who deserves honor and his right for his dedication to civil rights and world peace, the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stated, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in the times of challenge and controversy. What Dr. King was saying to us is that true character is not revealed through our happiness. True character is not revealed in our times of smiling. True character is not revealed when your bank account has everything that it needs to function. But he tells us that true character is revealed when I'm going through. Yes. I understand this because the reason why many of us have never had to display real Christian characteristics is because we can't hold up when we are going through. And so what Dr. Martin Luther King was saying to us 50 years ago, I see where you are when things are good. I see where you are when things are happy. I see where you are when you got the relationship and found your Boaz. But why are you going through? That's how God really understands and is able to reveal himself through you. Yes. See, understand this. Uh, Matthew, the seventh chapter, let's go there. And the 24th verse, it tells us something very important. Matthew, the seventh chapter. And the 24th verse says these words. When you there, say amen. It says, therefore, whosoever heareth these things of mine and do them, I will liken to him a wise man that built his house upon a rock. Yes. But when the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Say, upon a rock. Upon a rock. 26 says, and everyone that heareth these things and do not do them is like a man, that, a foolish man, that built his house upon the sand. Tell your name of sand. The sand. And when the rain and the storm descended upon it, and flood came, and the winds blew and beat it down, the house fell. Yes. And great was the fall of the house. Mm -hmm. Understand what this parable is saying. This parable is saying that here is two houses that when you look at them visibly, both houses have the same structure, both houses have the same look. There is no distinction between the houses. Come on. The only thing that brings distinction to the houses is the rain. Come on. Come on. The only way that you're able to tell the difference between this house and this house is when the storm came, the weak house that was not stayed on the word of God fell, and the house that was planted on the rock of Jesus was able to stand. How do you tell now the saints of God from just church folk? When storms of life come, the saints of God still stand. A church folk get broken, they go through, they go crazy. But somebody built on the word of God. Yes. Let the rain come and let the storm go. But when all that's over, I'm still standing. How many know that your storm is only temporary? But if you stand on the word of God. Yes. Tell somebody, quit sweating the small stuff. Oh, see, watch it now, watch it now. See, when your house is built on sand, sand represents when your house is built on emotions. Come on. It's according to how you feel whether or not you're going to give God praise. You preach it. Oh, but I wish I had some people that really been through some.
some things. I ain't talking about letting all them men and hand and stuff. I'm talking about you been through hell and the water. You been there the fellow who's behind you and the red sea was in front of you. And all you had in you that you can do is trust in God. Uh, see, 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 some of us look cute, but, but because we don't look like what we've been through. Uh, because God kept us in y'all. Anybody know God can be a keeper for real? Uh, I need a cute for comfort. I need somebody to know he'll keep you in perfect peace. Who's behind this? I fooled Beth by wearing the bow tie, so she thought I was going to straight teach her. Okay, Beth, I'm going back. <laughs> see, understand, you can't buckle when wind and rain comes your way. And see, watch this now. What we have in 2014 is we have some of the weakest saints of God on the Tell earth. The truth. Uh, that, that, that if I don't get the response I want, if, if enough folk don't like me, if I don't get enough bills paid, if I don't have enough money, if I don't have enough cars, if I don't have the biggest house, then guess what? I ain't got nothing. Mm. But watch this. I was looking at a very prolific show, a show that means so much to me. Little House. Yes, <laughs> Little House on the Prairie. Here it is, they stand in a shack. But it's not about what they live at, it's about their family, y'all ain't saying that. You know now, nowadays women ain't gonna go to no shack. You gotta put them in a mansion. You gotta hell ain't saying that, you gotta put them in a nice house. But the but mother Ingalls, Mother Wilder was not concerned about what she lived at. She was concerned about she had a good man. She had, you know, she had a solid foundation. The children respected their home. And I come and tell you right now, it don't matter what you got, but it's about who you know. You're trying to get more stuff, and you're wondering why you're crying. You're wondering yourself to death, and you still ain't satisfied with stuff. You want to open up your life, and you know what? It's not in the stuff. That's right. Come on. Ah, oh, he says. He says that's got to be a distinction between the people of God. The people of God can't be doubting. The people of God can't be moody. The people of God can't be wishy washy. You got to have a solid foundation to stand on. Now, when we go to the text, and we're not going to be before you long, we find a very interesting story that has transpired. We, we find a man that, like one of says, he's got stuff. He's got more stuff than he know what to do with uh -huh, the stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we, 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 we find out that well, the, the plan of the enemy is revealed in the first chapter of this verse. Because the Lord asks him as he's among the angels. And, and Satan comes and he says, uh, what are you doing? And, and the enemy says, I, I've been going through the earth seeking those yeah. who I may. Yeah. In other words, he said, listen, I'm seeking those who won't let me mess them up. I'm seeking those who really ain't praying like they should be. I'm seeking those who really ain't got to work. The only way I can get in them is they got to let me in. So I'm seeking them that's giving me a Woo! Look at somebody say, quit giving the enemy access. Yeah. He said, I can't do that unless they allow me to do it. Because even the enemy understands structure. Yeah. The enemy understands that the man was put here to rule over the earth. And the only way he can have access to the earth is he got to use men to get in it. Yes, uh -huh. Come on. Oh, yeah, they Tell them the access to that. Tell them access to that. You ain't gonna have no more rule of my emotions. You ain't getting in my head. You ain't getting in my heart. I'm not letting you in. That's it. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, I put that Holy Spirit on that. God said, have you considered my servant, Job? For there is none of Watch now. I know how we always want to get a name among men. Uh -huh. I want people to respect me. I don't want to be called Pastor Kirk, Reverend Kirk, when I walk into a building. I want my credit. I want what I've done. But that don't mean nothing if God will call your name to the end. Right. You better have a name with God to this here. I got faith in Minister Park that even when a child from life come up, he's going to stand to testify. Yes. Look at somebody say, Lord, have mercy. I want God to know my name. Not only does God know your name, but the devil got to know your name. He said, Jesus, I know. Yes. On Job. Yes. Y'all, watch this now. The reason why the 
enemy ain't messing with you like he's trying to do is because he recognizes God's favor Woo. on your life. That ain't saying that. Watch this now. And so, so what God says is, uh, do what you're going to do to it, but don't kill it. So in one day, Job's kids at a party, having a good time, eating, drinking, having a good time, and the ceiling fall down. You got to hear that how it is, but then you also hear your cattle done die, your horses done die, all your, your wealth, everything is tied. Y'all ain't saying that. Y'all can't even better stand when you get laid off work. Imagine you get laid off work and then go home and your kids done perish. Imagine y'all ain't saying And then after that, you start getting boils on your body immediately. See, watch it now. We talk about this in Bible, so that's why I wish 